are. Zilla Chat takes it to the streets right on Occupy, uh, <laughs> Occupy Liberty Square. Hey, How'd you end up hours. here? I've been here for 16 days. Oh, yeah, okay, why? I got my table set up over there and I sent out flies telling you about all different messages, about all different things you can check out. My, my website, oneredpill.com, talks about many things. Let's say like with the police harassing us, Caucasian, African American, young Latinos, every day for the most nonsense thing. And we're getting tickets, we're getting our records abused. We can't afford them good jobs because we're always getting back in the system. We got issues about everything. It's like gossip. It's like UPS, how we send packages across the way to our families and how they don't get it. And when we call, we ask about what's going on with our packages. They say it's all lost. It's like gospel. We talk about main point issues and the facts. Thank you. And right now we're taking a walk. 18 day man walks to Washington, D.C. Take a stand. That's what it is. I said, oh. In New York, Occupy Wall Street. Uh, and we've got some literature even. Occupy Wall Street Journal. Mild and pornographic. A lot smaller than I would have anticipated. For me. I want to Occupy Wall Street. All day, all week. And sleep on the freezing concrete as if it's a... Warm beach surrounded by palm trees. Body filthy richy, filthy rich piggies count money till their palms bleed. You see, I'm a revolutionary. I got them shouting revolution. I am Ralph, this shit's ruthless. In the booth, it's no spoofing. Lady, I spit like I'm toothless. And I used to be. But I got good health insurance. Well, not really. My mom got Medicaid, but at least I got to get them straight. That's, it. <laughs> That's what I got. supposed to snow tonight or tomorrow so we'll see what that starts of varying different signs with different ideas and different uh, and different ideas represented and, and all sorts of media covering all those interesting and different ideas it seems like a, a bit of a media circus we decided to go back to occupy wall street in the rain today snowing we're supposed to get one to three inches of snow so we'll see what happens spirits seem to be pretty high People seem to be pretty excited. But definitely hiding out. Definitely under the tarps. Staying warm. Trapping. We're lined up at the power. All right. We're about maybe an hour into this snowstorm. There's a CNN news truck, and that's about it. Everybody's hunkered down. There's no protesting when it's snowing. <laughs> Less than enthusiastic crowd here today at Occupy Wall Street. There's some drums beating. <clears throat> There's some voices from within the tents. First Snow Falls, New York is always really pretty. There were reports. Protesters. Yeah. Um, yeah, a couple of black eyes today. That's what sure. Laws are right here. And here's the World Trade Center right here. This is where the World Trade Center stood, obviously. Uh, and to give you a perspective on on the fact that the, that the proximity to the World Trade Center, from my perspective isn't necessarily accidental in the sense that though the message is maybe disheveled or not organized or clarified, maybe also part of the message is the human angst we're all experiencing with our world changing around us, not even a block away from what was the World Trade Center. And and how disturbing and difficult sometimes it is to be alive and to live in these times. They're changing so rapidly. Now the winds are 40 line, 40 mile an hour wind. Safest, we're gonna leave the safest place in New York right now. Yeah. Um, which was, uh, <clears throat> which, which is the area around the World Trade Center and now the area around Occupy Wall Street, which has the greatest concentration of police anywhere. And we're gonna go 
I've gone to Capsudo Fair and get some onion soup. Headed over to Capsudo Fair right now for lunch.